So let's say we have a disc which is rotating. So if you view from the side, so we have a disc. It's connected to a shaft and the shaft is actually rotating at the uh, angular velocity omega as 5 radian per second and this is actually sitting on the surface whereby between the disc and the surface there is actually a liquid with a viscosity 0 0.01 Newton second per meter squared and the thickness of the oil let's call that one H is equal to 2 millimeter and then the diameter of the disc let's call that one D is equal to 10 centimeter so you ask to find the torque and then find power required to rotate the disc at a constant angular velocity of 5 radian per second. Different point on the disc depending on the distance from the axis of uh, rotations. So they are not constant so in order to calculate the total force and then the total torque and power. So we need to find region whereby the shear force are actually constants and since it's dependent on R we can actually consider elemental ring so if I just draw again the surface of the disk so whereby the diameter is equal to D so if I just take a ring, a ring like that, the shear force there are actually constant because the value of R is constant. So that's distance R. So the thickness there is actually equal to dr. So if you consider the torque on elemental ring. on ring so this is d torque so d torque is actually equal to we know that is equal to df r but we know that df is actually equal to tau da tau is the shear stress and a is actually the area of the ring so if we open up the ring so we have this distance is actually 2 pi r and the thickness is actually dr so we have dA is this area is 2 pi r dr okay but we also know that the top top we know that it's mu dv dy and this is the velocity because if you consider let's say this is the the bottom surface and this is the disk so the disk is the one that's rotating the, ve the velocity there is equal to v which is omega r whereas this one is zero and this thickness is equal to h so this is actually equal to mu omega r divided by h put it here we take da put it here we take tau put it here so we can now get the expression for the torque which is mu omega r over h multiplied by 2 pi r dr multiplied by r and that's equal to rearrange that a little bit 2 pi mu omega over h r cube the total torque I think on the whole surface now we're gonna have to integrate this from r equals 0 to r equal to big R so the total torque for whole surface let's call that one big T so we have to integrate so, so this took the constant up to pi mu omega divided by H 
So integration from 0 to r, where r is actually d over 2. Okay, from 0 to r, r cubed dr, and that gives us 2 pi mu omega over h, r to the power 4 over 4 from 0 to big R, which actually gives us 2 pi mu omega over h, r to the power of 4 divided by 4. So this gives us stock equal to pi mu omega r to the power of 4 divided by 2h or if we put that in term of d so r r is d over 2 so you have pi mu omega d to the power of 4 over 32 h so substitute the value this gives us pi mu is 0 0.01 Omega is 5 radian per second. R is 0. Point D is 0. Point D is 0. Point 0.1 to power of 4 divided by 32 and H is 2 times 10 to minus 3 2 millimeter. And that uh, gives us 2.45 times 10 to minus 4 newton meter and the last part is we are asked to find the power power is straightforward it's just equal to torque multiplied by omega so 2.45 times 10 to minus 4 multiplied by omega is actually 5 radian per second so that gives you 0 0.001225 watt.